Welcome to Cooking with Steve. This week we will be making a spiral ham. Mm -hmm. With Easter coming up this Sunday, I thought it would be great to show how easy it is to prepare a great spiral ham for your Easter dinner. The spiral hams that you can get in your grocery store today are excellent and come with their own glazing sauce. The hams come fully cooked, so basically you're just really s slowly warming up your ham on low heat. The important thing is to not warm up your ham too much and to baste your ham often. So let's get cooking. Ingredients for today's recipe are simple. We just need one spiral ham with an enclosed gazing packet. First, get out a large roasting pan big enough for your spiral ham. Next, and I'd recommend doing this over your sink as some liquids could uh, leak out, get your spiral ham out and you're going to need to get a good pair of kitchen shears to remove the outer packaging of your spiral ham. Make sure you save the, uh, your glazing packet. It could be either a gel or a powder. With your kitchen shears, carefully remove the plastic that's surrounding your uh, spiral ham. Remove your ham and make sure you remove this plastic ring that's over the bottom of your bone of your spiral ham and then place your spiral ham in your roasting pan that's so, like so, with the large end butt down. Place your ham in your oven set for 250 degrees. Next, get out a small saucepan and place your uh, glazing mixture that came with your ham into it. Uh, it may be a gel form or it may be a powder form. In my case, I have a powder form, so definitely add about one cup of water to your powder. Stir your sauce well together and bring it to a boil. sauce comes to a boil, uh, boil it for one minute stirring constantly to thicken up your sauce. About every half hour, remove your ham from your oven and baste your ham with your sauce. Then return your ham to your oven. Repeat this process of every half hour of removing your ham, basting it with your glaze, and then putting it back into your oven. And we will probably continue to do this for about two to two and a half hours until you feel that your ham is done.
Once your hem is done, transfer it to a cutting board and let it rest for about 15 minutes. Well, it's now been 15 minutes, so let's slice off a little bit of our spiral hem and see how it tastes. Mmm, it sure looks and smells delicious. Delicious!